Welcome back to the channel. So I feel a lot better than I did last week and I'm going to attempt the pizza again. But I've changed, I've modified the um, Omnium oven. I've created another shelf in there. And I did it with a mind, a plan in my mind, went to the shop, found something different and I thought, well, that probably work and it might be better. So I'm going to roll you the footage I've already made of me creating this shelf and then I'll show you it and we'll get on with it. So I bought this in Home Bargains. Give you a look of it. It's a mesh and it's claimed that you'll get better chips with it. Then got up to 260 Celsius. So it's pretty hot. I mean, what it is, it's just a mesh. So I'm gonna cut this, put it inside the Omnia oven and see if I can create a platform for a pizza or anything else I wanna put in the Omnia oven. It was only about £1.29 in home bargains. So let's see what we can do with it. Alright, so I'm going to put a sharpie, draw around it, cut it within so I want it to go in more than the actual lip. See if I can do this without with one hand. Well, difficult, but we're trying. see that anyway the idea is to cut it out but make it smaller make it smaller than this so it sits in a bit I want it about just about a centimetre or so lower so I could see if I flicked it about in the light I could see where the line was on this so it's cut so I've got to cut the centre out I need it to rest on the centre and on the inside so it holds the support of the pizza or whatever I'm putting in there chips whatever hopefully it'll work because it could melt when the heat comes up through the center because that is hot we don't know yet it's an experiment so I'm going to draw a line around it now and then cut it out so it sits in a bit because pizza I want it higher and the only reason I want it higher there's more space at the top it's going to be a bigger pizza that's the idea. So I've just put the mesh in. It's gone down about, I've just been nipping away at this centerpiece. And you can see how far down it is. If it needs any support, I think um, I can create support easily. But this should help a pe well, it's going to be a lot bigger, and that's what I'm after. I, if I could buy a pizza from the shop, cut a hole in the middle, and stick it in here, that's awesome. I'll show you if I'm going to cut a hole in the middle, what I'll be using. One of these cookie cutters. If I can cut a hole in the middle of a cookie cutter, then that's ultimate, because that's easy to carry. Everything about this is going to be... No messing about, get a pizza in there, because at the end of the day we want a pizza. We don't want to mess about making pizza, we just want to eat a pizza. And this is designed for chips, so you can throw a sprinkle of chips on there, if it works. And a way to support this mesh, if you haven't got anything to put under it, is just get silver foil, make some balls, three or four balls around it, hold it up, if you need it. So this is the pizza number two mark two let's get it better put some silver balls in screwed up silver foil that'll support it give it more width bigger pizza i think that's going to work so we're going to give it a try and see how it works so let's get the 25 going and i will show you what we've got This is what you've just seen. So you've just seen me creating this with this mesh and these silver foil 
aluminium, aluminium, depends how you say aluminium, um, well, balls rolled up to stop it from collapsing. So I'm going to get this on there and get it heat. No, I'm not going to put it on there. Don't be silly, because I've got to work a pizza on that when it's burning hot. I don't want to do that. And I purchased this pizza. Hopefully it'll fit. I've got to cut the middle out. It says cook from frozen, but I bought it a little while ago, so it probably isn't frozen. Let's have a look. No, that's not frozen now. Oh, look at that. That's going to go. What is it? It's a stone-baked four-cheese pizza, thin and crispy from Tesco's. £1.65, whereas I spent £6 on the ingredients last week. And I want convenience for this sort of thing. It's an oven. So, get my trusty scissors, open the pizza. I'm going to mess this up. This has got to be cut out the centre. If it wasn't um, thawed out, it'd be easier because it's thawed out, it's going to go everywhere. I'm going to lose some cheese, lose some cheddar. Right, so, sort of find the centre with the cookie cutter, make a mark. Move all my cheese away, because I don't want my cheese. There's no point in wasting stuff. Put it somewhere else. That's about middle. Let's start to see if we can cut that. Now we can put some pressure on it. That is frozen, that's why. Yeah, if this wasn't so frozen, I'd cut easy. Oh, it's going. Better be in the middle, so it ain't gonna fit well, is it? See if I can push that out. And there it is. My little mini pizza disc that's frozen. So, this should just sink into there. Look at that. Nearly middle. Didn't bring my black olives, and I love my black olives. But I have got, got to look for it. I've got my Italian seasoning. And being higher, I get more pizza. So I think this is going to be a win, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this smells lovely. It's not even cooked. The Italian seasoning. I love it. Righty-o, let's get it on. Just get it on. Mini pizza. Uh, lid, that's what we need. Um, how fast is that gas going? Not very. I think I can't really show you. I can show you the flame, but I can't say how much gas I'm using. It's just say it's got to the point where it's starting to get loud, but it's not roaring. I don't like um, I don't like cooking fast if I don't need to. So temperature, I don't care about the temperature. I just want this cooked. I want to eat it. I've lost all the will with like 
temperatures and times because you can't vary it, vary it when you're outside wind. You've got all sorts of things going on. So you just got to go with um, like open fire cooking. You go by what's cooked. I remember my mother-in-law used to tell you uh, when you asked her, how do you cook it? How? She goes, you turn on the fire and you put it there and when it's cooked, it's ready. And you try and get more info and that was it. That's all you got. Because that is the fact of it. So hopefully this is going to be a proper result. I mean, you can use this on the 27 and the 25 and the triangle and all sorts of different cookers because it doesn't matter what this goes on. This isn't purposely for a Trangier. This is a standalone. It's got nothing to do with Trangier. It's made in Sweden, but you can use it on a surface of your gas cooker. You can use it on anything it'll sit on as a top, top, what they call it? Oven top oven. Not oven top oven. Because why would you put an oven on top of an oven? I'd say a, a gas or yeah yeah let's move on from that cooking instructions it's a stone baked pizza base topped with tomato sauce mozzarella full fat soft cheese cheddar red cheddar monterey jack cheeses what's the actual cooking instructions 12 minutes from frozen at 200 degrees in an oven this isn't frozen, so it's half past 12 now. And I'm just gonna keep looking at it. That's all I can do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you can't really, unless you start doing it regular, you're gonna know. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. And a good thing is if you haven't got a plate, always use the box. The box makes a great plate. That's what I do at home. I don't like messing up stuff if I don't have to like dirty an upper plate so you can either just open both sides flatten it out and if you're a bit sort of like thinking oh what's touched that just rip it and then turn it inside out and create yourself a nice plate that's probably going to be a lot cleaner i haven't got a pizza cutter with me i've got a knife but that's all right What's that temperature saying? 100, 200 Fahrenheit. Boiling temperature. Is it 212 Fahrenheit for boiling and 100 in the Celsius, I believe? No smells yet, and I can smell a bit more now. And I'm not on super hot, I don't want it on hot. Because I don't like over cooking something but having the middle raw like that's thawed out but the middle's raw not raw solid still wasn't thawed out and that's how it, if you cook at a high temperature you end up like that you don't cook the center you just cook what's the hottest part can get to first which is usually the top and the base in this because it's hanging in the middle and we need to see whether that mesh melts because that mesh is cheap so if i get any issues with it and it hasn't actually melted, I can throw it away and get another one. So I'm pretty happy and I was thinking about putting chips on that because it's designed for chips. So if you put chips on it, you're getting heat all around your chips. It should cook quicker, it should save you gas. I am a convenient sort of person. I love cooking, but if I can do it in a convenient way and it saves money, I'll do the convenient way. Because this is the sort of thing you shouldn't really be doing if you've had a few bevies but if you want a pizza after you've had a few bevies and you're out you can have a pizza there's me giving it all the i'm going to have a pizza it's going to be great but we don't know yet do we but i'm pretty confident i'm pretty confident this is going to work well there is a breeze around there is a breeze you probably can't see it because you can't see the flutterings of the grass but yeah, I'm stuck in the middle of the field. Let me show you around. And it looks like it might rain. There's the van. 
They've just done some harvesting and got the crops in. They've cut all those and stacked them up. And there's the chopper. I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but it's up there. It's probably on its way to Checkers, where they always go. It's their flight path. But yeah, this is um, my location. A random field. Without the noise of that chopper, there basically isn't any noise here. It's lovely. But yeah, the breeze is gone now. You can see all this grass fluttering. Let's give you a, like the, um, if ever anyone's ever seen Werewolf in London, when they're going through the subway, give you that sort of view. Going back to the van. So the temperature is rising. Now we're on. Ah, oh, it isn't. That's stopped rising, so I'm going to turn that up. Oh, I should duck my shoelace as well. <laughs> Fall over. I can hear it. Oh, I can smell it now as well. Should we have a quick look. Because it's been six minutes. Let's have a quick look. Yes, now I can smell that instantly when I opened it. It smelled lovely. That smelled gorgeous. Going to boost the temp a little bit. I've done about, I suppose, a sixteenth of an inch turn or a few millimetres. Depends on what measurements you use. And it is climbing now. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get a knife. Not the mad knife, because it'll cut through my table. I don't want to do it. What else do I need? Gloves. I've got to be able to get it out, and I? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This is what should have been happening last week when I made this pizza. Not this one, but the other one. But I wasn't happy with that. Being in the bottom of the oven is too small because the oven shapes more like this. So I don't think down the bottom is going to have a small area. I want that big area. I want more food. I'm not buying a pizza. I'm wasting that as it is. I could put it in and cook it up. But no, probably won't. I might give that to the animals. You always got to give back something. Oh, I'm so happy for this. Should we have a quick look at it? It's been nine minutes. Well, it's probably been a little bit longer, but because I didn't start timing straight away. Just say it's getting there. I'm going to boost it up. Temperature's coming up, nearly 300 Fahrenheit and nearly at 150 Celsius. Probably should use this all the time instead of just thinking it's going to be great because the reality is wind doesn't help you, not your friend. Now that should help. See if that temperature rises. I've turned the actual gas down and now we'll just see if that's helping it boost because it just saves you gas. There's no point in putting it on full blast if you're not going to get any um, result from it. I 
Now I'm going to turn it up and see if it rises. This is why I don't um, always go on the temperature gauge. I just keep on looking at it and smelling it and looking. I mean, you can get a probe, you can start probing things, but unless you're cooking meat, there's not a lot worth doing that, not on a pizza. It's getting pretty hairy though with the wind. It is coming. That's smelling like it's burning now. That's got to be underneath, so I'm going to turn that down a bit. Yeah, it smells like pizza, but we don't want it burnt. The temperature isn't changing, is it? To be honest though, I think the probe is pretty much close to that pizza. The actual temperature. I think the temperature probe that sticks at the back of this is nearly on the pizza, so. Yeah, it's starting to smell. Probably better to do this in the van, where there's no wind. I'm comfortable with using the gas in the van, I don't mind that, it's the mess I don't like using in the van. It's definitely kicking the heat out. This windshield is definitely working well. Should use it more. Perfect size as well, up to the lid, look. Love it. You can see the heat haze in there. I don't know if camera had picked it up, but you can see it like a shimmer, like you see on the road sometimes. It's all melted. I don't know. I'm going to call that. I mean, I can keep going and try and brown it, but what's the point? I'll just probably burn the bottom. Let's turn that off. Get the lid off. That little support is um, held up. It's actually hanging there nice. Oh, I just want to get it off and eat it. stuck in the middle. It is stuck to the centre. Okay. Should we get the whole mesh out? That's going to cool pretty quick. I'm going to foot drop this, isn't I? I've got to get it off. I've got to get gloves on. I've got to get that hot off the train gear. Yeah. Reason being, I'll just knock it off otherwise. I don't want that base plate coming off because it's going to be very hot. So this base plate is going to be mega hot. I can go on the grass. That's not needed now. Go on the grass. I can go on the grass. And I can go on the grass. Yeah, it's stuck here. I'm hoping it's not melted to it. Oh, it's just cracked and it went off. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Right. So you can see my donut ring. I'll try and pick this up with that bird in my hand. I can't see that. You can see that. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll look at it later when I watch the video. That's all in good standing. Nothing's melted. Lovely jubbly. So we've got a real pizza. When I say real, shop bought pizza. We don't have a middle. I want to look at my donut. Yeah. It did what I expected. It was touching, so it's going to burn a bit. So we've got to have a taste, haven't we?
Sounds like a farmer. Can hear an old rattly old trailer coming. Do you know what the nice thing is? If I put it on a plate, Put it on a plate. Get your spicy sauce out. Bomb it in the middle. There we go, that's the reason for having a hole. Oh yeah. I have to go steam a cigar on that. That tastes just like a normal oven. And I forgot how hot that sauce is. I made that. It's got chili naga sauce in it. That's a win. That's a win. I am doing this again. This is easy. I need to give you some more info. I measured this, it's just over nine inches. So I think they sell pizzas in 10 inches. That's probably what this is, but it fits. So a 10 inch pizza, I imagine, unless you're making your own. I'm happy. I'm really happy. This tastes gorgeous. It's the fact that I'm sitting in a field eating a pizza I made in my oven. I didn't make it, I cooked it. And it's so simple to make the little mesh just to raise it up and give you a bit more space to cook. When I say space, because you're more pizza and you're getting heating all around it. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Fantastic. It's better than I thought it would be. I was hoping it'd be this good, but I thought it wouldn't and it is, it's better than I thought. I love it. I just wish I had black olives on it. I mean, I think back in the day, you could buy pizza bases if you just wanted to buy a small base put your own toppings on it. But again, it's easier just to walk in, pick a pizza up, walk out, leave it in the, to four out, if it's frozen, you can get fresh ones anyway. And this is amazing, I'm loving it. All right, it's a snack food, it's not the best healthy food, but sometimes you just want a pizza and you want it easy and you want it outside and you're happy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.